Hey guys, it's Justine, and today we are going to be talking about this. This is the new-ish Polaroid camera. This is the One Step Plus. They have two different versions they came out with. This one has Bluetooth and it also has a couple other features, but it still is like those vintage Polaroid cameras that you guys have seen in the past. Like this develops film. Like on the back here, it says that it will develop within 10 to 15 minutes. a lot of minutes, but I'm excited to try this out. But here's the thing, Facebook and Instagram have been targeting me and they've been targeting me hardcore because every time I see a freaking ad pop up, it is something that I've either talked about or I've wanted or I've thought in my mind. Long story short, this was an ad and now here it is. We're gonna unbox this and then we're gonna take it out. I also have some film here that I got. I probably should have got a little bit more because <laughs> this will only take eight photos. Eight. So now with this guy, this will also connect to Bluetooth like I said, but what's cool about it is you can do different things when you connect it to Bluetooth. So you can control the camera, you can do remote, manual mode, self-timer, double exposure, light painting, noise trigger. I'm not sure what that is, but we will find out. So let's open it up. Mm. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> We've got directions. Eh. Okay. Oh, jeez! You can't be doing things like that! <laughs> oh! I think it's ready to go. I'm gonna do a portrait. Neutral, a lighter image, or a darker image. So you can adjust exposure here. You've got your focus here. You've got your on and off here. And this is, I guess, for a flash. Whoopsies, I just took a picture. That's gonna be my best work. <laughs> that was a complete accident. Okay, I wanna to try to take a selfie. What if I don't want the flash on? Blinking blue, camera is in pairing mode. Oh, it's ready to connect to Bluetooth. We're not ready for that yet. Or are we? Oh, it's already, it's already here. That's my camera. Self timer, double exposure. This is something that I'm excited about. Light painting? So I'm gonna take a picture of myself. to be off but it's not okay all right well i guess i'll let those develop i'm going to charge this up and then we're going to take it outside and take some photos and see what we can capture <laughs> down here in Santa Monica now and I've got the camera and it should be charged up. I charged it for quite a while and we're gonna take some pictures. I'm gonna also pair it to the app so that I can do some cool things. So I wanna take a double exposure. So I'm gonna take a picture of myself first. Okay, am I ready? I don't know. Okay. Now, a little tip that we found out is there's a button back here. This will force the flash to not fire. So we will take a picture over here. Oh, I gotta look through here. Here's my photo. There's Jenna, a wild Jenna. Show me your shirt. Show me that shirt. Yeah, you look good. Oh my God, I can only take four more pictures. Ready? I feel like I'm from 1984. I do want to do a test of kind of showing which each one of these exposures kind of would look like. Okay. This is Tyler. Tyler, whoa. So whoa. what we're going to do is we're going to do the low exposure, the middle one, and then the high. Yes. And see what the difference is. Yes. Okay, here you go. Okay. So right now we're on the darker mode, I believe. Here we go, three, two, one. Wow, that's satisfying. That's very satisfying. Okay, so now let's test the neutral exposure setting. Yeah. I'll smile, I'll, maybe I'll give him another little. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. Here it is. Fun. Cool. And now we're doing the bright setting. Bright and shining like my super shining personality. I will never make that pose again. I was wondering <laughs> why you were doing that. Oh, you look beautiful. Oh. You look oh, so you good. Oh, did I? <laughs> Here you go. Thank oh, you. Oh, I think you need to put more film in there now. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Should I put the rose gold film in? <gasps> we're gonna try the landscape setting. So we're gonna be a little further away from our subject, so we're gonna use that. I'm back and way up here, okay. That's gonna be cool. I blinked. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if I did. Okay. Look at this rose gold frame, though. Oh, shake it. Shake, don't shake it. So you Something have to like use that. the app to do the double exposure. So you put the camera where you want it. Or how do you do it? You just push the button. Can I do it? Yeah, you can do okay, it. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're gonna do a portrait. We're back on the portrait setting here as the first photo. Oh God, okay, we can do this. Cool. And then the second photo, I'm just gonna shoot straight up at this tree for like a weird texture. Oh, we should try this, the noise trigger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so once it's turned on, the noise trigger will automatically take a picture when the volume is high enough. I'm gonna click okay. Yeah, right, yeah. So you can set the noise trigger, so if you want it to be super loud. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a jump, and I'm gonna try to have it capture my jump. I <laughs> Okay. I think it worked. That man is shaking his head here He should. Okay, we've got some black and white that we're gonna try now. So the first thing I'm gonna try in the black and white is do a double exposure. I think the double exposure is probably one of my favorite features in this thing. It's so easy to do. Let's do it. Okay, there's my first picture. And now, I'm gonna get super close up. Yeah, that's my new profile pic. Jenna, come here, can I, I wanna take a picture of you. Oh, I moved. You didn't give me a countdown. There's no time for that. I'm sure it'll be just fine. <laughs> now I'll just take a picture of, um, I don't know. I'll just take some pictures. These are gonna be going in the museum. Let me get a picture of all of our feet. Let's all get our feet in here. Okay, okay, this is cool. This is gonna be in the museum. Okay, I'm gonna get a selfie. Two pictures left. Okay, Tyler, look super cool. That's nice, that's nice. It's very nice. How about, I'll just take another one of these. That's nice. These seem to start developing faster than the color. Okay, I'll add these to collection. We're back from our adventure. Now it's time to see what we got. These rose gold frames are really, really pretty. So the focal length of the selfie is actually really good. This one looks so cool. It's like a vintage grilled cheese. This was the one where I was using the sound activated. It's not my best face, but Tyler, look at that, look at you. <gasps> this is so great. The double exposure is, it's so awesome. What else do we have? Oh my gosh, this was the noise activated one where I jumped up in the air and said, Durr -durr. 
I feel like if you're trying to decide between which one to get, I would kind of recommend this one because this will allow you to connect to the app and you can do all kinds of things like the double exposure and you can use your phone to control it. It also has this thing that I saw while we were driving in the car on our way to shoot. It has this little setting where you can actually scan the photos so you can archive them into your phone, which is basically you're just taking a picture of a Polaroid. So I don't know if it does anything special, but let's try it out. Oh! It just took the picture by itself. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I wasn't even, like I didn't even do anything. It just did it by itself. This is a really cool idea. So it does allow you to sort of save your pictures into the camera roll. Oh, look at that. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This was really fun. Let me know if there's anything else you guys would like me to check out. Also, let me know if there's any Instagram ads. Take screenshots of them and send them to me because I'd love to see what you guys are getting served. And if it's something cool, maybe I'll uh, buy it, check it out, and I'll give you guys credit for sending me in that image. Anyway, that's it. These are my photos. I'm excited to play with this a little bit more. Also, go check out Tyler's Instagram. He's the one helping me film this video, and he took some of these photos, and his photos are so good, and they're incredible. Look, he's got a little smile on his face. He's like, Arr! They're really cool. So Go check it out and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.